Hey beekeepers, hey, it's uh, Dave the beekeeper here at Backed by Bees. Just wanted to go through what a Backed by Bees nuke or nucleus colony really entails. Um, with so many beekeepers out there, we do have a bit of a standard in Ontario, but every beekeeper makes a nuke up a little bit of a different way. Uh, every nuke is a little bit different. So what I want to do is I want to walk you through how how you know we make up nukes and what you can expect when you take that nuke home so you know exactly what you're getting again in nature everything is perfectly imperfect so every nuke is going to be slightly different every year is going to be slightly different but as a general guideline um, I want to show you what we're able to do so we, we use these white core plast nuke boxes these these boxes are absolutely fantastic they're weatherproof so when you come and pick them up uh, from us on that day it's not something where you immediately need to get into the hive some of the old wax dip cardboard boxes didn't really hold up all that well in weather but these guys are really fantastic they have the ability and the option on the far side to create a bit of an entrance so you can take it home and if the weather's not looking too pretty uh, you can always open up that entrance and just allow them to to work in that box for for a couple of days before you actually get them into their permanent home so with this nuke box what's gonna come in that nuke box is four frames you're gonna have it rammed pack of ready for bees and what you can expect, as we pull out the frames, we'll talk about what you can expect on those frames. So on one of the end frames, the first thing you're gonna expect is it to be a full food frame. So you can see rate rammed wall to wall, uh, lots of food. If we do have to close things up for you to take them home, that way they have a nice supply for them to get through that long trip. Uh, as well as it just gives them a nice boost for when you get them into their equipment. Lots of food means there's not as much pressure on foraging meaning they can do a lot more work at home, brood rearing and whatnot. The second frame. Is going to be a brood frame. And so in this nuke box, you'll have one frame that's going to be a food frame. You'll have two frames that are brood frames. We try to divide them up so at least one full frame is capped brood, so pupa. The other you know, one frame will be at least young larvae and eggs, so uncapped brood. In here, the whole center part of this frame is all going to be young, uncapped brood, uh, lots of eggs and larvae. And on the far side, a little bit more cat brood, kind of along in that rainbow type pattern, but same sort of thing, right smack dab through the middle. Tons of eggs and larvae in there. We'll go to the next frame. And so what we have here is just another fantastic brood frame. And so same sort of thing, you're seeing cat brood along the outside, uh, uncapped brood throughout the middle there. Uh, like anything in the world of beekeeping, again, you don't get full frames of just one style most of the time. And a lot of times it's a bit of a blend. So combining those two frames, you pretty much end up with one full frame of uncapped and one full frame of brood. From there, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a marked queen. And so these are all locally mated buckfast queens that we raise right here in Burlington at Back by Bees. We do mark our queens so you know exactly how old they are. So we put that prom dress right on their back there. Uh, each, each nuke box is going to have uh, its, its own queen bee there. With the markings, we, we do our best. Every single queen does get a marking. However, they love ripping them off over time. So you can see that was a nice full mark and you know, over time they eventually start to clean that up there. So they will lose their mark eventually, but she is in there. Just while we go through that last frame, we are gonna cage her just to make sure that this nuke going home tomorrow has that queen intact. The last frame. This is a, a bit of a gamble every single year. So some years, this is a bit of a miscellaneous frame. Some years we'll have a food frame, depending on how tanked up these colonies are on feed. Some years we'll have a third brood frame because maybe there are no empty frames or are no you know, food frames that are additional in that colony. But this year, what you can see is we have food along the outside and then we have a nice empty spot, which uh, actually, believe it or not, is, is laid in by the queen. Lots of eggs in there. And so you're getting an additional in this on this frame additional bit of brood but it's it's good and empty in the middle and then lots of food on the outside so you can guarantee year over year that that kind of fourth frame is going to be a bit of a miscell miscellaneous frame but you're either going to get food and empty frame uh, that that is drawn so not a foundation frame uh, or a third frame of brood so you can see these are the bees this is how they're going to act incredibly gentle they're locally mated buckfast queens that we do raise here right on site uh, so probably the nicest bees you're ever going to get 
So we do release the queen. They do not come caged in these nuke boxes. We do make up the nukes a couple of days beforehand just so that the bees do have a little bit of time to lay down that framework of wax. So when they do get in your car, frames aren't rattling around and flattening queen bees. So that's what a back by bee nukes entails. Hope you're happy.